Hi guys. One question we get asked quite a lot, um, or we get asked quite a few questions, um, is I've got a faulty section on my LED strip and how do I repair it? Um, it largely depends on the kind of fault that you've got. And I've previously tried to address um, some dry solder joints. So if the solder joint doesn't quite connect properly, that will affect your LEDs. Um, in previous videos, I've also cut out sections and used tape to tape connectors to put in a new section. Um, with this piece, this is a piece that I previously found a fault with where the blue resistor is missing. So I've cut it out. It was originally attached like so. I've cut it out from here so I can have it replaced with a new section like so. Now all I'm going to do today is just warm up my soldering iron which I have here and I'm going to just add a small drop of solder onto each of the copper pads on each side of the tape. I don't need to do this side because this is the end and it won't get used. So I'm going to enlist the help of a solder reel just to hold them in place. I'm just going to shift some other bits out of the way which I shall bring back in a moment. Now it's important to make sure that you've got a nice clean tip on your soldering line. If you haven't got a clean tip you won't get good and thorough heat transfer. So if you just touch your soldering iron to the copper pad, add a drop of solder, it will ball up ready for the connection. Now, because I am a man, I don't multitask very well. So excuse me if I don't talk while I'm doing this. Inherently, we men can't do more than one thing at once. So, that's one. two and I only need to do that side okay now I finished concentrating I can talk again a drop of solder on the end of that while I explain. So I now have the end of my LED with my solder dots on there. I've got the section that I want to put in with some solder dots on there and they're not joined. I will do that with the soldering iron in a moment and I've got another section there. So I like to work towards me if I miss the help of my solder weight again, just grab my soldering iron. And all I'm going to do, just touch the soldering iron just to melt the solder and just drag it down onto the next pad. Now don't worry if it doesn't join all the way. All you need to do is just add a little bit more solder just to bridge the connection there. And just repeat all the way down. Just adding solder, cleaning solder as you go.
And there's one section. And same again here. I'm trying to keep the soldering iron tip nice and clean just for thorough heat transfer. Makes my life easier. It makes soldering easier. It's just generally good practice. Okay. And I'll just add a drop of solder on the end. Put it back. And we just check the connections are nice and solid. So we've got nice solder joints there, nice solder joints there. Okay, time to turn it on. So we turn it on. We have a new section in there. And what I like to do, I like to set the controller to color scroll. It will play ball. Set the controller to color scroll and just work the joints in your fingers so that you can see either side just to see if there's any color difference on the LEDs. Now this one looks fine, but just as a final check, I'm going to stop the colour scroll. Just going to knock off all the colours. And in this end section, I'm just looking to see if there's any difference. Which it looks like I've got consistent LEDs all the way down. Wonderful.